Now, the bushfire crisis continues to worsen in Australia, with authorities there on high alert today as already extreme weather conditions continue to deteriorate. Towns in New South Wales and further south in Victoria have been cut off, with two huge fire fronts joining up to create a mega blaze as people take shelter close to water with it too late to evacuate. So far, at least 27 people have been killed, half a billion animals with thousands of homes destroyed and at least 10.3 million hectares burnt out with no reprieve in sight. Let's go now to senior journalist Adam Walters, who joins me from Sydney, Australia. Adam, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, you have been covering bushfires there for 38 years, including the devastating Black Saturday fires in Victoria, in which 187 lives were lost. Tell me about the situation on the ground there today with these uh, weather conditions really deteriorating. Sarah, it's hot, it's windy, nothing unusual about that in a long Australian summer. But what is extraordinary is the massive size of these fires and the ferocity with which they are absolutely devastating vast areas of the Australian East Coast. As you mentioned so far in this bushfire season, 27 human lives lost, a staggering 485 million wild animals have been killed and so far, 1,900 homes have been destroyed and many others uh, will have to be demolished as well. Now, it's, uh, it's far from over this summer. We've still got two months to go and uh, it's very much a case of having uh, fingers crossed. Mm, and Adam, uh, we've seen huge protests held in New South Wales and Victoria today uh, as the government there is really being slammed for a lack of inaction. Very controversial protests, Sarah. We've seen more than 30,000 people, mainly students, I've got to say, gather in Sydney and Melbourne to demonstrate what they describe as the Australian government's appalling lack of action on climate change and its refusal to join other countries in taking global warming very seriously. But on the other hand, you have a lot of people pointing to arson as mm -hmm. the major reason for these fires. And so far... There have been 24 people arrested. Now, this debate continues to rage, but there can be no doubt that the uh, it has been literally warming up here in Australia. In 2019, we've had the warmest, the hottest year on record since 1909. So that serves to prove that the extremely dry nature of the fuel load is making these fires very volatile. Mm, absolutely a shocking situation, Adam. Tell me, how do you see all of this really playing out? It's really captured uh, the attention of the world right now. Tell me, can it get much worse? And is there really a way of stopping these fires? Well, all that attention seems to be part of the problem. Um, it's been intense, the focus, the media's focus on the bushfires, as you can understand. But here in Australia, over the holiday period across Christmas and New Year, it's a traditionally quiet news time. And the media has had an intense focus on the, these fires, and rightly so. Now, whether the intensity of the speculation over further catastrophic days uh, only serves to encourage the arsonists, arsonists out there remains a matter of debate. And I suspect that forensic psychologists will be having a lot to say about that once the smoke mm. eventually leaves. Mm, and that could take months and uh, months. Hopefully it does rain there soon. Adam Walters, thank you so much for coming on. Really appreciate it. And that is all we have time for for this edition of I24 News. I'm Sarah Coates. Thanks for watching.